Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is May the 16th, 2021. This is our portfolio review that we're going to talk about on today's video. And then we're going to show you all which particular stock is a buy right now. But first, if today's your first time ever viewing our content and you all appreciate it, make sure you hit that like button, share, subscribe, and also continually watch these videos so that you can learn for yourself how to independently and not being dependent on someone else to give you the plays or when stocks are buys and when stocks are a sell. All right. Because there is a plethora of YouTube channels out there that's only giving you one direction of the market, which is the buy side. It'll never give you the sell side of the market of telling you when you need to get out the market for us. We'll do it all. We'll tell you when the market's going to go up. We'll tell you when the market's going to go down. We'll even tell you when the market's not anticipated to do anything. It's just going to trade sideways. If we're getting that type of feel from the chart, we'll have to let you all know. That's why we're building this community of individuals who want to be ahead of the game. You know, we want to make sure that we beat everyone else. And if you want to do that, you need to make sure you follow us and join this team right here because this is what we're going to do. All right. So first, we're going to take a look at these uh, 10 stocks that are in our portfolio. You guys can finally tell uh, within the gain since added column, which is right here. We're finally seeing some green coming through in the market for these stocks. Others are not giving us that profitability just yet. This is why we're going to do the portfolio review. We're going to look at the price chart to see if we need to keep these stocks in our basket or do we need to drop them and figure out which ones we're going to add. All right, so let's do this real quick. The first one I want to look at is going to be Antero Midstream. So here it is. We're going to look at this on a weekly perspective. All right, this is our longer outlook into the market for these stocks, right? So you can see here that we've been following Antero Midstream all the way since March towards the end of March. And we've kept our prediction ongoing. And right now the market in Antero Midstream is still relatively strong. So based off of what we have right now on this price chart, you can already tell that we're not going to alter or even get rid of Antero Midstream from our portfolio. It is performing exactly the way we expected it to do, which is go higher. Okay. So we're not going to change this one. We're going to keep that one in our portfolio. The next one that I'm going to look at is going to be Deutsche Bank. So here's Deutsche Bank. You guys can tell we probably added this stock to our portfolio maybe about two weeks ago and the strength is still being seen. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to watch the market in Deutsche Bank around $14. Okay. That is where I would be expecting some weakness to come. Sorry, $15. That would be the price point that I would be expecting some more selling to try to push down the price of Deutsche Bank. Right. So. As of right now, I mean, we're still on course to continue to see this strength come through the market in Deutsche Bank. We're not seeing any weakness next week, though. If we hit that $15 area, we might have just to take this one out into the market and take that profitability. OK, but right now we're going to keep it the same, not change it and keep it in our portfolio. The next one we're going to look at is Datadog. All right. So let's check out Datadog real quick. So here's the market in Datadog. You guys can tell that the trap, in fact, did crack our support area, right? And I'm gonna show it to you. He was able to crack our support area right there on the week of April the 26th. But pay attention to what happened last week, okay? The market was able to come right back above our support area, and now we're still seeing strength into the market in Datadog. So we're still on course, right? A lot of people may have gotten scared to see Datadog break through that support area. But now for the market on last week to close at the high of the bar, we're still on course to see this market and Datadog go higher in price. So we're not gonna come in, alter or change our portfolio for Datadog. It's gonna maintain and stay in our portfolio. If we would've gotten more weakness right there around 75, $76 in Datadog, then yeah, I would have gotten rid of this stock. I would've dropped it from the portfolio and moved on to the next play. But for us to reverse course and close on the high of last week, this stock still wants to go high in price. So we're going to keep it there. All right. So next one we're going to look at is going to be Liberty Oilfield Services, LBRT. And here it is right here. This market as well. We just added this maybe about a week ago. And we did endure some weakness last week for Liberty. But guess what? You guys can tell we was able to see this market close toward the high of the bar. So again, we're still on course to see this market in Liberty 
oil fill to continue to go higher in price. So again, we're not gonna alter or even think about taking this stock out of our portfolio. We're going to continue the watching ship of this particular stock because we're still anticipating the price to go higher. Next one that we're gonna look at is gonna be Neon Node. So this is Neon Node right here. You guys can see that we're currently down 28, almost 29% on that particular play and rightfully so, okay? The last one, six weeks, the market in Neon Node has been trending lower and lower in price. And even just like in Datadog, you guys can see that Neon Node was even able to get cracked on our support area, but we barely was able to see the market close on the high, right? We, we saw it barely close above our support area, shall I say, which is very positive, okay? Now, if anything out of Datadog and Neon Node, this one is weaker. So this one has the greatest probability of being dropped out of our portfolio. I'm just gonna keep it weird with you. This one is giving us the most weakness so far. So this trading week, if Neon Node is not able to give us any strength around our support area, we will have to come in and drop it because we're going to anticipate more weakness to come through for this particular stock. So we'll have to watch this one. We will have to watch uh, Neon Node for this upcoming trading week. All right. So now let's take a look at Southwestern Energy, which is the next one. So here it is. Southwestern Energy has been doing pretty good. You know, we anticipated the strength to continue to go higher in the market for Southwestern. It is doing that. We are relatively close to our ultimate TP price, which is around $5.50. So we're going to continue to keep this in the portfolio. We're close in our portfolio. I think we're going to nudge up just a little bit higher, maybe around like $5.33. So we may have to just take that out sometime in the upcoming trading week. So you might not see that in our portfolio when we do our next review, okay? But yeah, this one looks pretty good too. Now let's take a look at uh, Torch Light Energy, TRCH. So here it is, this is Torch Light. And we've been, we added this to our portfolio last week. And yeah, we got a little bit of weakness right now, but I'm not too concerned yet. You know, we got a lot of strength that is evident on a weekly perspective right here, okay? so. I'm not concerned that the market in Torch Light was able to close lower than the close from last week. I'm actually still anticipating this market to give us strength as well here too, okay? So I'm not worried about that one. Next one is going to be uh, USDP Partners, okay? Down eight and a quarter percent. Let's check them out real quick. So here it is right here. We have identified an area of support and this market in USDP is just trading sideways, right? We have endured some weakness, but the market has not been reactive negatively to it. So this tells me that this stock still has the ability to go higher price, even though we are trading well away from where we initially put in that prediction. prediction. Okay, but the strength is still apparent. So we're gonna to continue to watch this stock as well. Not too concerned with that one neither. Next one is gonna be vascular biogenetics. VBLT and here it is there you guys can tell I think we're playing this on the monthly let me see right yes we're playing this on the monthly time frame currently we're getting some weakness for the month of May not too concerned but obviously we're going to continue to watch the market on a long-term basis currently we're getting a probable precursors of strength we got 12 days three hours left into the market for vascular and we're still going to play the strength in the market right now so I'm not too concerned with what is going on on for that particular stock, okay? Next one is going to be the PowerShares ETF PSCE. Let's switch this back over to the weekly time frame. And here we have endured some weakness, right? The market in PSCE came all the way down here towards our $5.50 support area, saw lift off, and now the market has finally given us some strength in play. And I think we said that we would TP out the market around $8. So we're pretty close to that now. Um, this current play is still involved. We're still anticipating this particular stock to go higher in price as well, okay? So nothing changes there. So all in all, out of the 10 stocks that we talked about so far in this portfolio, there's only one that is really giving us 
some concern and that is neon node right so for this upcoming work week we'll definitely have to pay attention to neon node to see whether or not that particular stock is going to act right because if it's not we'll have to drop it from our portfolio because it's going to cause a lot of contagion with our other stocks that we're aiming for profitability for okay so now let me go ahead and show you the one that we're going to add now um the ticker symbol is m r n s Moranis, this is the stock. Moranis Pharmaceuticals, this is the stock that we're going to add to our portfolio, right? This particular stock has given us an enormous amount of interest. It is showing us that it wants to continue to go higher in price based off of first things first, right? Pay attention to what you see that points out at you. And this is it right here, right there on September 14, 2020, the week of we have seen a climactic amount of volume. Like this stares out as a sore thumb, bigger than the rest of the fingers that is currently perking up at the bottom of this chart, right? So obviously a big hedge fund, massive financial institution came in and purchased some of this Moranis stock, right? And take a look at the reaction. Like have we seen the price drop from when we saw that high volume? No, we haven't. As a matter of fact, we're still seeing the strength into the market in Moranis right now. So now, let's take a look at this on the monthly time frame first. Two weeks time frame, I like that as well. I'm seeing some restriction coming to the market in Moranis around $20. It would be $20, then the next area would be $24, okay? Those are the restriction points that I'm eyeing to the market for Moranis Pharmaceuticals, but I like it. Like this market definitely has enough momentum to continue to see some strength higher. So let's run this back real quick. Okay, support is going to be right here around $11.80, give or take. Okay, that's the first area of support. I wouldn't even be surprised if the market was able to dip down towards 1060. So let's bring it down to around like 1060, 1050. And I told you all. Our first area restriction would be around twenty dollars okay that's the first area that we would be expecting this market in Moranis pharmaceuticals to find more selling how do i know well take a look at what happened on that three-week price bar okay we saw the weakness come in there so obviously when we hit that point again you would expect us to see the same thing now i'm actually going to take it up there towards 24 dollars okay i like that that is definitely something that is able to happen within Moranis over the long term so we're going to add this stock to our portfolio looking for the market to go towards 20 to 24 dollars in the long term and the next thing i wanted to show you is how you're able to see the trend in moranis to be in play so let's keep that there too all right so now let's add this to our portfolio and then we're going to see if there's any analyst who's actually tracking this stock so let's add them. It's always going to do our five shares. Transaction has been recorded and now we're in display. Okay. You guys can tell that the analyst consensus is a strong buy. So let's check it out. This is Moraine. They got a price target, average price target of $30.50. There are six analysts who are covering this particular stock. All of them have buy ratings on them and it's been about two months. Okay, the highest price target is around 38. For us, you guys can see it's around 24. Okay. Average is $30.50. Ours is 24. So we're definitely in line to grab some of that profitability out the market in Moranis Pharmaceuticals. Okay. Now, if it's able to hit $30.50, that's 88.5% profit to the upside from the last trade price. Of sixteen dollars and eighteen cents all right so that is it that is the stock that we're going to add to our portfolio and everything looks pretty good so far that's it 14 minutes looked at 11 stocks and everything looks pretty good except for one outside of neo no that's the only one that needs to be watched but so far this portfolio is going according to plan so now tell me what do you all think this is pretty good on how to view the market and how to get in position and make sure that you are winning 
a very quick look at your portfolio is all it takes. It doesn't require looking at their earning report. Can you imagine if you were to look at all of these companies' earnings reports every quarter? Would you could you imagine reading all the news articles that come out for every one of these companies? You can't do it. So why don't you just minimize all of that confusion and just look at the price chart just like we did. And we just shown you in less than 14 minutes, we were able to look at all the stocks and make a determination. Do we need to keep them? Do we need to get rid of them in less than 15 minutes? So you need to learn how to do that for yourself as well. OK, so make sure you join us. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. And also make sure you come back again and again so that you can learn as much as possible. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.